This is his name piece off of his bunker coat that he ha would have on, Steve Smith. It's been more than two years since Colton Smith lost his dad, Steve. He treasures every memory, every moment spent together. I grew up with him running calls day and night, getting used to him running out the middle of the night, waking everyone up because someone needed help, and that's always the person I remembered him as and the person I personally always wanted to be. His dad was the fire marshal with the West Douglas County Fire Protection District, a job he loved right up until his final moments. We were both coming home from uh, power lines down call. I was driving us home in the truck. He was in the passenger seat. Drove home. I went, he said he was proud of me, grabbed my hand off to that, and I went out because there was a traffic cone that blew into the middle of the street, so I went to through, get that out of the way, and by the time I came back to the truck, he was gone. It's been a tough two years for Colton and his family without Steve. One thing he's always kept close, his dad's beloved truck. But the amount of memories I've had in that thing, just driving around. Last Thursday, he went to the movies with his family in Highlands Ranch coming outside to find his truck gone. And I'm frantically just pressing the key fob, listening for a honk from that thing. It's like, oh, she's gone. I was just so angry and so sad at the same time. A piece of his dad. Awful, awful people doing that. Just vanished. It's just like, you're doing it for quick money, but you, you don't know who you took that car from. Still, Colton's holding on to hope that his dad's stolen truck will turn up. I have to be. It's just like, I don't want to think about that. It's already been chopped, chopped and gone. I'm just hoping that it's out there somewhere because I want my memories back. Again, that truck is a black 2006 F-350. It has Colorado firefighter plates reading OJO901, though someone could have removed those plates by now. If you see the truck or know anything that could help, call the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Rachel Krause, 9 News.